to the Mindset RX podcast, a show for functional athletes who want to gain a champ's mindset. My name is Tom Foxley, and I am the founder and head coach of Mindset RX. On today's show, it's something very, very different. It's actually an extract from the Q&A session that we hold every single week, both in the Mindset RX coaching certification, which this is an extract from, but also in the Inner Athlete Performance Camp, kind of a, a kind of entry level or more all encompassing design for athletes, specifically for athletes. Um, it, it's those two courses, the Mindset RX Coaching Certification and the Inner Athlete Performance Camp. Anyway, we host these calls every single week so that we can start to personalize the advice we get. And I think whilst I was recording this, I remember thinking, oh, this would be a great thing that more people could could listen to because it really gives you an idea of what we do in the coaching cert, but it also, it gives you an idea of like how you can embrace hardship and embrace the unknown. Now, the I'll be honest, the audio quality is pretty terrible. I've tried to clean it up and remove some of the buzz from the background. So put up with that so sorry about that but mostly that this is something that you can extrapolate and use in your own life now let me give you some background about it the background you need is this is janine's question and she's essentially asked something along the lines of uh she's looking to move away or she's thinking about moving away because she wants to go and work with Carl Powley, friend of friend of the show, friend of mine, our ex Carl, Carl Powley. And she's thinking about working with him on a one-to-one basis and looking for travel and looking for change. And what I've done here is I've extrapolated the principles that we use with athletes and drawn them out to a whole purpose that we kind of, or our, our whole life essentially. So hopefully I've given her a bit of guidance, but mostly what I want to show you guys right now is just how we go approach, uh, go about approaching the unknown because it can be terrifying. The, the example for Janine is very specific, like going to work with Carl Powley. But for you, that could be taking the next step in your athletic development. It could be changing gyms. It could be uh, finding a new trainer. It could be moving, uh, moving place entirely very similarly. It could be so many different things. It could be even completely restarting your nutrition or becoming a personal trainer like there's so many different things that work on both your athletic development and outside of that so that's why i wanted to show it to you and kind of put it forward to you guys so hopefully you enjoy this if you do of course head over and leave a five-star review and i'll see you on the other side of the podcast i can't remember exactly the context of this um it was from our personal conversation or private conversation um but i think i do it was something along the lines of we're looking to move to, I think, San Francisco, uh, go spend some time with Carl. Um, basically, is this the right thing to do now? Um, and how do you know whether to pursue something like that? Um, or like, or when do you know when to not pursue something like that? Now, I'm, I know I'm very, like on a personal basis, I enjoy the element of risk. I, I'm, I'm the opposite of risk averse in, in some ways, but that's only because I understand that in between, and, I, and I'll speak about this uh, at some point, not sure. Um, w- the way we progress in life is essentially by creating order out of chaos. And what I mean by that is just in the same way as we'll see um, in mythology, um, like there's so many great examples of this. Um, Jonah and the whale comes to mind um, about having to go and do something that he doesn't want to do. He has to go and tell a, a king, or a, I think it's king. Um, my Bible, my biblical knowledge is terrible, but um, he has to go and tell a king that he's running the city wrong and he's running this kingdom wrong. And he has to go tell this king that he's doing it wrong. But um, and this is a direct order from God. He gets he gets given that order, and then he's like, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to do that because that's pretty scary. Um, so he gets given this thing, which is like chaos and it's, it's represent, it's a representation of chaos and disorder and the unknown because who knows what could happen and he doesn't feel good enough to go there. And on that journey, like he, oh, sorry, he tries to run away and on his way, he, he gets into a, I think it's a fishing vessel of some sort. Um, and whilst there, um, long story short, like there's there's all sorts of things with God's wrath coming down and the the, the fisherman finding out the, what, about what he's done and the fact he's running away from, from God's uh, God's will. Um, he gets knocked overboard or thrown overboard. I can't remember which. 
and he gets swallowed by the whale where he, he lives for a long time um, and he's kind of stuck there. Now, this is the representation of the fact that he has a place to go, he knows his calling, but he shirks it. He runs away from his representation, oh, sorry, he runs away from his true calling about what is right for him. So he's, he's like, fuck this, I'm off. Like, I'm not telling that king something. Um, so he, 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 he shirks it, he runs away from that responsibility. And whilst, and, this, and then obviously, because he runs away from his true calling, runs away from the best version of himself, he falls into a trap. He gets literally stuck in a place that he never wanted to be, that was further away from home and definitely further away from his, his, kind of his version of limitless potential. So whilst he's in this, um, whilst he's in this, this whale, he starts praying to God. And he's basically, fuck, <laughs> I'm really fucked up. I'm sorry, guys. I, I didn't mean to do this. Um, I, I'll, I'll, make, I'll go and do it. I promise I'll go and do it. It's, it's the long and short of it. Um, and I personally interpret this as um, he realizes his own responsibility. He realizes his will and he realizes that to become, to live his life to the fullest, he has to accept the burden of risk. And then the whale swims up and up to the shore and vomits him onto a beach, which is maybe the least dignified way of arriving anywhere ever recorded. Um, and he gets up, goes to tell the king his news, which is, I can't remember how it's, um, how it's kind of received initially, but eventually it's taken on as, as, as kind of, oh, thank you for that, essentially. Um, and he gets proven right. This is an exact representation of your possibility or your choice where you, you can go towards your potential but it seems like the most terrifying thing possible to do it's completely out there um it's very very difficult it's a, I, I must have spoken about this before but it's like um the hobbit and smog um like the hobbit is in his place of security and comfort in hobbiton uh, bilbo not frodo bilbo bilbo is in his place of comfort and security it's picturesque it's perfect um funnily enough filmed in new zealand um so kind of the, the exact right thing for you there, Jenny. Um, film museum is perfect. So he's got his stability. He's got his comfort of his pipe. He's got his books. He's got his food. He's got everything he'd ever need, but not adventure. And then the adventure comes barging into his life. Very similar um, to God coming barging into his life, uh, into Jonah's life, sorry. Um, they get, like he, it, it comes in the form of, Gandalf first, and it's like an inkling. It's just like Gandalf says some weird shit, and then and then Bilbo's like, oh well, this doesn't really sound great. He talks about a party, um, and then all the all the dwarves turn up, and the dwarves turn up, and that is the um, the the adventure and chaos barging its way into um, in into his life, and that's what happens in life. This is the representation of this is your chance to go to. San Francisco or to become the best version of yourself, but you don't know it that like that yet because you see it as the threat. The threat is there. So um, over time, it gets, and I won't go through the whole story, but um, he decides to eventually go on the adventure. What lies at the end of the adventure is Smog the dragon himself with teeth and fire and scales and claws and everything dangerous. Um, a really interesting my friend who is into mythology and representation is really interesting because the dragon represents both the heaven and the earth, like the, the serpentine, um, well, sorry, the heaven and the hell, the serpentine aspect of it and the wings. Like it, it's, uh, it's a combination of both. It's an exact representation and probably why it's such good mythology of like what's on, what's in hell and the reward that it's presented on. But to make that even more clear, Smog the dragon lives upon the, the pile of gold and the, the treasure that he's stolen from, from the dwarves initially, who they're go, going to like receive it from, who are going to get it back from. And on the way that like, he decides to go and to kind of become the burglar as the whole story goes, um, on the way, as soon as he leaves his, the comfort of poverty, it starts raining, he forgets his handkerchief, I think is the other thing, he is uncomfortable and it's miserable. It basically, from the moment he sets out and upon his journey, it gets harder and it does not get easier. But in that process of 
of everything getting harder, Bilbo realizes something. And it's not that the tasks that he has to do along the way get easier or less intimidating. What he realizes is that we have that latent strength within us. We have that incredible power to achieve what we want to achieve firmly stacked within us. And in short, Bilbo arise, um, arise, like, comes to the conclusion that the task isn't getting easier, he's getting stronger. He's seeing his own strength and he's seeing his own bravery. And it's that which enables him to eventually go and become the Burkler and to achieve his ultimate goal. But he wouldn't have been the right person to get there if he had not set off along the path. And he only was able to achieve it because of the lessons he learned on the path. So it's a very small step along the way. What I'm saying is this, like there's, a, there's two stories, two films, or like, oh, sorry, one film and, and one biblical reference wrapped into all this. You don't know until you try it. Um, and yes, it's daunting. And yes, there's the potential for it to go wrong. Um, definitely. Like don't, don't shirk that or that kind of truth. It could go wrong. And there's a pretty good chance it will go wrong. But what, you're, what we're hopefully realizing is that the choices we make now are not to make our life immediately more comfortable in like oh, sorry more comfortable immediately because if we did we'd just sit down and eat crisps and and drink beer and that'd be it and watch tv the reasons that we make the decisions now or the reasons behind our should uh, the decisions we should be making are because they're in line with our vision they're in line with who we really want to become they're in line with who we want to be in five years and even if you initially chalk up a loss you learn something. And it's that, that truth that you learn, that failure that teaches you to become a better person. So that's my, that's my answer. That's what I think you should do. Um, and I think you should make steps towards it. If it's in line with who you want to be, make steps towards it. Thank you for listening to the Mindset RX podcast. I really hope you enjoyed that very different episode of the of the show. If you enjoyed it, of course, leave a five star review. I know you kind of hear this stuff the whole time because you'll be uh, you'll be familiar and you'll you can listen to a lot of podcasts. But if you do head over and leave a five star review, I'll be very 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 grateful. So I will see you or speak to you very soon. And until then, keep on crushing it.